Welcome to this Palms video about Plastic Free July. We use lots of plastic every day and things we only use once, then throw away, are called single-use plastics. When we throw plastic away in our bin, it goes into landfill often. The plastic will sit there for a long time, not breaking down or rotting away for hundreds or thousands of years, maybe even longer. Sometimes the plastic we throw out may become pollution, which is a big problem. Back in 2011, a West Australian lady named Rebecca Prince Ruiz decided to do something about plastic pollution and challenged herself to try not to use any single-use plastics for the month of July. Some of her friends joined in and Plastic Free July has now grown into a worldwide movement that lots of people join in every year. Rebecca was awarded the 2021 WA Local Hero Honour in the Australian of the Year Awards for her efforts. Plastic Free July asks people to reduce the amount of single-use plastic they use and to try and find things other than disposable plastic to use. We've put together some ideas to help you with this. Let's start with something fun. If you're having a party, why don't you try having a plastic free party? Here's some suggestions for how you can do this. First, let's deal with your party decorations. Try putting up some strings of lights to decorate a room. Of course, ask for an adult's help with this. You could put up some colourful paper chains. You might even like to draw something on the paper before you make it into chains too. You can get really creative decorating with paper streamers too. As well as paper, there's lots of great fabric decorations you can make or buy and you can use them again and again. If it's a birthday party you're having, you could make a banner or sign from paper and card. There's lots of other paper or cardboard decorations you can make yourself too. It's a great way to show your creativity. Rather than using disposable plastic plates, cups and cutlery, there's lots of other types you can use for party food and drinks, such as melamine, reusable plastic, paper or bamboo. You might even like to try this cool idea and make some plates from banana leaves if you have some available. If you're giving out treat bags for your party guests, you could use paper bags or fabric bags and have some fun decorating them too. To have a plastic free party, you shouldn't have balloons, but there's lots of other fun decorations you can use instead. We've shown you a few ideas. Can you think of any others? So that's your party covered. Here's some other ways you can join in Plastic Free July. In your lunchbox, you can replace cling film with beeswax wraps or other reusable sandwich wraps. Try using small containers or paper bags for your sandwiches or snacks too. There's lots of types of reusable cutlery you can pack in your lunchbox rather than using disposable cutlery also. To have your drinks on the go, remember your reusable water bottle. Refuse plastic straws and use your own metal or bamboo ones. Use reusable cups when you can. When you go shopping, take your reusable shopping bags or use paper bags. Rather than using plastic bags for your fruit and veggies, you can get mesh ones like these. There are quite a few places where you can take your own containers along to buy your bulk food items too. If you're getting takeaway food, try and find restaurants that use minimal packaging or compostable boxes and bags. They may even offer wooden or bamboo utensils too, which is great. Here's some tips for your bathroom at home. Using bars of soap or solid shampoo and conditioner reduces the amount of plastic containers you use. When you replace your worn out toothbrush, why don't you try a bamboo one? If you can, choose to buy cotton tips with paper stems rather than plastic ones. And if you're traveling, there's lots of reusable containers you can fill up again and again from home, rather than buying small single-use plastic bottles. What can you do now you've got some more information about alternatives for single-use plastic? Here's a challenge for your class at school. Count the number of single-use plastics in your lunchbox. Make a graph of the results for the class. Work out what you could replace with something reusable. Try cutting out at least one type of single-use plastic that you use regularly. Can you think of any other examples where you can replace or cut out single-use plastic? Hopefully you now have some ideas for how you can join in Plastic Free July. Of course, you don't have to try this only in July. Any time is a good time to start using less single-use plastic. Thanks for watching this Palms video. For more fun, hands-on earth science activities, visit our website palms.edu.au.